646 right now. Let's get a check of our forecast on this Monday with Storm Tracker meteorologist Carson Meredith. I can see a little fog behind you, but that's going to burn off, I hope, soon, and we're going to enjoy spring. We are going to spring enjoy like. Yeah, spring like feel, a preview, if you will, later on today. Just got to get this fog out of here, and it'll be gone in the next couple of hours. But on the Way 31 Skycam Network, if you're not seeing the fog, you're seeing a nice sunrise. But obviously, that fog is going to slow you down on your morning drive, especially if you live along and west of I 65. That's been the main trouble spot all morning. Less than a half mile in Decatur, still less than a half mile on the Shoals. You just saw that view from Cox Boulevard in the Shoals. We can't see a thing right now. Here in the Metro, the typical trouble spots along 565 County Line Road towards the Arsenal, up in Hazel Green and Meridianville, seeing some dense fog as well. And it's still quite foggy out near Lake Gunnersville, too. Just give yourself an extra five to ten minutes on the roads and keep plenty of space between you and all those other cars around you. May need to scrape off a little bit of frost this morning. We're talking about those temperatures in the low to mid 30s right now. But as that sun gets higher in the sky, those temperatures will warm up in a very big way. On the way 31, Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. It's a clean sweep. We stay dry all day. This is going to be the most sunny day of the week, if you will. 46 by 9 a.m. 58 degrees by noon. A great day to have your lunch break outside the office. 65 is your forecast high, and if you have any Monday evening plans, you'll notice some clouds streaming in, especially late this afternoon and this evening, but it stays mild. 56 by 6 o'clock tonight. You see some of those clouds moving in on future radar, but these are more of those thin, wispy clouds. Still going to be a spectacular day with plenty of sunshine to go around. That cloud cover does thicken up a bit overnight tonight, and that's going to keep our temperatures a bit more mild tomorrow morning. Still a cool start, just not as cold as this morning. Low to mid 40s for your, your Tuesday and as we get towards Tuesday afternoon highs in the upper 60s despite more cloud cover but I would not be surprised if some spots got close to 70 degrees tomorrow afternoon same story goes for Wednesday but by Wednesday night we'll start to see some changes in that weather pattern temperature wise though we will keep our high temperatures in the 60s through Thursday before we start to cool things back down by Friday. Going to have some muddy paws as we get towards the middle part of this week for our furry friends. Most of the day on Wednesday looks dry. Maybe a couple of showers here and there. That's about it. Wednesday night is when our next cold front moves in. And with that front comes the chance for rain, obviously, but also a few stronger storms too. Note the time. This is 7 o'clock Wednesday morning. I can't completely rule out a few stray showers during the day, but most spots stay dry until later in the evening as the front itself gets closer to North Alabama. You see how that rain picks up, especially across Mississippi Wednesday evening. And right along the front, there is going to be a small window for at least a few stronger storms. Not expecting a significant outbreak by any means. Maybe some gusty winds though with those stronger storms. Regardless, we will have heavy rain lingering through the Thursday morning commute. And then as that front slides to the east, we really won't see much of a cool down until we get towards Friday and especially this weekend. You see that pretty well here on our seven day. We're going to be in the mid to upper 60s through Thursday. Then we drop back into the 50s on Friday, as we mentioned, only in the 40s for Saturday. If there's any good news, despite those cooler temperatures this weekend, looks as though it will stay dry and sunny once again this weekend. All right.